Welcome to the class. Myself Ashwini from Gopal Swami College, the Children's Statistics. Last class we are discussed about for time reversal tests and we have shown that time reversal test satisfies it will satisfy only Fisher's Marshall Edwards and Kelly's price index number but it does not satisfy Lapris Pashis and uh, Dubbish Bowlies and in this class we are going to see the factor reversal test and this test is also proposed by Professor Irwin Fisher and in this FRT and the condition for this factor reversal test is condition for factor reversal test is P01 into Q01 is always equal to V01. While we solving the problems, we know that price and expenditure is always equal to price and the quantity. Here, price, the product of price and the quantity is always equal to value. And here, this price and we know that the value is summation of P1, Q1 and summation of P0, Q0. While solving the value index number, we have gone through this formula that is Value index number is summation of P1, Q1 and summation of P0, Q0 that is product of it is a ratio of current year price quantity divided by uh, base year price and quantity. And this index number sorry uh, factor reversal test satisfies only one index number that is Fisher's ideal index number that is why it is called ideal index number lap and uh, other test Lapis, Pashis. Marshall Edward, Dubbish Bole as well as Kelly's, it will not, it does not satisfy the factor reversal test. Only Fisher's index number satisfies factor reversal test. Let us see that. The first method is, the first method is Lapris. index number and the formula for this that is P01 of LA is summation of P1 Q0 by summation of P0 Q0 and Lapris this is Lapris price index number and another one is Lapris this is price index number and this is quantity index number and uh, Lapis quantity index number is summation of Q1 P0 by summation of Q0 P0. But our FRT condition says P01 and Q01 FRT condition should be equal to V01. Let us substitute price index and the quantity index in that condition that is summation of P1 Q0 by summation of P0 Q0 into summation of Q1 P0 by summation of Q0 P0 should be equal to V01. But here P1 Q0 and Q1 P0 is there. But we want P1 Q1 by P0 Q0. Here in the numerator we do not have Q1 or P1. So it is, it is not equal to V01. Therefore this last priest method does not satisfy FRT that is factor reversal test and the second method is Pashis. And our second method is 
but ashes prize is x number summation of p1 q1 by summation of p0 q1 and Pashes quantity index number is summation of Q1 P1 by summation of Q0 P1. Again, if I substitute that in FRT condition, it is summation of P1 Q1 by summation of P0 Q1 into summation of Q1 P1 by summation of Q0 P1. And here, in numerator, we are having, uh, we have in the form of P1, Q1 and Q1, P1 is same. But in the denominator, we want P0, Q0 or Q0, P0. But here, we can see Q1 and P1. So, it is not equal to V01. Therefore, Pashis index does not satisfy FRT. Similarly, you can prove this for Dervish Bowley and Marshall Edward also. You can prove this for Dervish Bowley and Marshall Edward also. But now I will prove only for Fisher's now because Fisher's index number satisfies FRT. So our next method is Pashes, sorry, Fisher's index number. First, I will write this is for Fisher's method. Fisher's method. So, price index of Fisher's is summation of P1 Q0, summation of P0 Q0 into summation of P1 Q1 by summation of P0 Q1 and the square root and here I will not consider 100 similarly I will write Q01 that is quantity index for fishers that is Q1 P0 by summation of Q0 P0 into summation of Q1 P1 by summation of Q0 P1 and the square root. Next step is very very important. Next FRT condition that is condition for FRT is P01 into Q01 should be equal to V01. Let us substitute the price and quantity index numbers formula of Fisher's. This is Fisher's. And this is summation of P1 Q0 by summation of P1 Q1 into summation of Q1 by summation of P0 Q1 into its a product. So summation of Q1 P0 by summation of Q0 P0 into summation of Q1 P1 by summation of Q0 P1 I will take all root and this is equal to V01. See here this is P1 Q0 we have to cancel numerator and denominator it is P1 Q0 and here we have Q0 P0. Product of PQ is same as QP so I, I can cancel this P1 Q0 and Q0 P1 and next P0 Q0 is same as sorry P0 Q1 and here it is Q1 P0. So these two will get cancels. Next is summation of P1 Q1. Here also Q1 P1. So I will take it as square divided by summation of P0 Q0. Here it is Q0 P0. So again I will take it as square and whole root should be equal to V01 and 
is square and root will get cancelled in the next step. That is summation of P1 Q1 by summation of P0 Q0 whole square. The square root should be equal to V01. Here square and root will get cancelled. So that summation of P1 Q1 divided by summation of P0 Q0 is equal to V01. Or V01 is equal to summation of P1 Q1 by summation of P0 Q0. So that Fisher's index number satisfy FRT. See, only the Fisher's index number satisfies both the tests that is TRT and FRT. That's why this Fisher's index number call it as ideal index number. And the next test is about circular test. Circular test is same as a time reversal test. But here we can we can uh, take more than two more than two periods to see the variations in the price and the quantity. And this circular test satisfies only by simple geometric mean of price relatives and Kelly's weights or a base method whatever it may be it uh, the circular test satisfies only simple aggregate simple geometric mean method and kelly's price uh, kelly's fixed weight method it satisfies geometric mean and kelly's method and the next thing is about bias in an index number laplace index number which is based on base year quantities it gives relative more weightage for such commodities than needed and see consequently the numerator is relatively larger that is in the Laplace index number we will take base year quantity that is C here this is Laplace index number here we will take Q0 and Q0 here if we consider Q0 that's why it is a Laplace and here the numerator is always relatively a large number because that is uh, that quantity is combined with the current year price that is P1 so that always this numerator will be numerically larger and Laplace index number always shows upward by us and this Pashis index number in Pashis index number also this is Pashis index number here we will consider Q1 that is current year quantity so it always shows a little bit less compared to Lapris, uh, so it will show us the downward bias. Thank you.